What's good YouTube? Back at it again with another video. And today we're gonna to be covering Nev's Declassified School Survival Guide. So if you grew up uh, late 2000s, you know it was a show on Nickelodeon called Ned, Ned the Classified School Survival Guy. You know, we had the, the main character, Ned. You had the the black best friend, Cookie. And then you had the, I guess, the uh, the, the girl best friend, uh, Moe's. So apparently Moe's goes on TikTok and makes fun of the, the trend where the, you know, the black guys are out uh, dancing in front of a, I don't know what they're dancing in front of. But she goes and makes fun of the dance kind of sort of but not really you know coming from an older generation you know to see these these kids new dances you know she was probably trying to make a joke so ned goes on the delta dance cookie does the dance and she's like hypes up ned she like uh they said let's get it and like a whole bunch of laughing faces but i'm just saying that she was probably trying to be funny but here's the video of her reacting to it and then here's her apology where they're just bashing her out Hello. hey are we okay what the fuck is this okay I just have to say right now that the hate in my inbox is not okay. Okay? I did not mean anything in any kind of way. I am learning every day, as I think everybody is. And this kind of hate just needs to evaporate from the planet, no matter who it's directed towards. Crocodile tears... No, dude, like this is like my soul out there. If you know anything about what I stand for or what I believe in, you know that it's not this. I am sorry you were offended. I think we all need to vibrate higher for the future. And I know I'm going to keep learning. I think like for my own mental health, I need to take a step back from social media. I kind of felt like that anyway, but it's like, I'm not here to offend or belittle anybody at all. I thought that the millennial and Gen Z thing was a thing on TikTok. I, I, the intention wasn't that serious, y'all. So, um, yeah, I got to just go off of here for a little while. But I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll be back. And I hope that I know more. And I hope we all have a little more compassion and understand. Okay. Hey, Lindsay, what it what it do? Yeah, it's me. Your your one black friend. Uh-huh. Yeah, let society tell it. Hey, uh, so check this out. You done got yourself into a bit of a pickle, all right? You, you fumbled the hell out of that bag, right? I can't make no promises, but I think we can soften the blow a little bit. You might have to release that sex tape from 07. Oh no, no. You 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 say you feel like that'll over sexualized black bodies and we, we shouldn't participate in that okay okay we'll keep that under wraps uh maybe uh, uh what if we yes yes exactly that's what I'm, i knew you took the words right out of my mouth we advocate for reparations for american descendants of slaves you're a genius oh oh yeah yeah no we're on it let's do it let's do it the tmz as you saw but once uh Conscious TikTok got a hold of her ass. It was it. Here's the video of uh, the guy I speaks. Oh, come on. Who is surprised at this? Meet the cast of Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. To whereby this goofy here got caught in 4K being microaggressive towards these black creators. Good old Ned here decides to say, oh, it was perceived racial bias and perceived microaggressions and proceeds to defend her. However, everyone was waiting for the elephant in the room. What does Cookie have to say? Who is Cookie, you might ask? That would be this Goofy here. Why am I calling him a Goofy, you might ask? Well, shout out to Aunt Karen, who got this screenshot. Not him here in the comments talking about this was an unfiltered reaction that gave the internet a chance to fit her into a fake box. Y'all do know we can see y'all, right? 
y'all do know that this wasn't a perceived microaggression because not only did she make that microaggressive video, here she is hyping up her white friend that did the exact same trend. You can't make this shit up. Now, in my personal opinion, they can say it's microaggression, uh, racism, whatever. But when it comes to a few notes, when it comes to TikTok, a lot of black creators are getting a uh, shit on honestly because they create dances, they create trends, and then their white counterparts become famous off of it. But by the same token, if, if you're following these people and you know that they're stealing content or they're stealing dances or they're just not giving credit to the original creator, then what are you upset about now that, you know, some some older woman is making fun of a dance? I make fun of shit all the time, you know, black, white, red, brown. I don't care if if I think it's stupid or if I think it's funny, I'm going to laugh at it or I'm going to mock it because I don't, I don't care. It's not being racist, it's not being classist, it's not being... Um, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, but I would have made fun of this shit too if I thought it was funny.